Hello comic book fans and welcome from Comic Boss 1. Okay, so today's video is basically the top 10 best comic book covers of all time. Now behind me as I'm talking as you can see or in front of me uh, you can see these different co comic book covers. These are basically the uh, the close ones, uh, the ones that came close to the top 10. And to be honest, this top 10 really um, it's very subjective and it's very it may change on a daily basis uh, because it's so hard to really choose which are the top 10 best covers when i say top 10 best i don't mean most iconic most famous i mean technically 10 of the best well-drawn comic books and again notice the use of the word of of the best um really i'm saying that the 10 best but it's so difficult it's so competitive and again it's so subjective i love both beautiful uh drawn books like this one uh but i also love uh really detailed books uh like you know the type that you see uh with mcfarlane covers okay so without further ado the top 10 best comic books covers of all time uh starting with number 10 yeah it is number 10 Crisis on Infinite Earths issue seven. Yeah, it's the Death of Supergirl cover, and it's you could argue that it's even iconic, but certainly it's impactive. It's well drawn, it's well rendered, uh, and it, it, it just it does what it says on the tin, doesn't it? Really, it tells you everything to expect from that massive book uh, in that respect, because it really did. It had major ramifications for the rest of DC uh, after that, and the one that followed it could have been on there as well with the Flash. Um, okay, so the next book. Uh, uh, that's uh, that, that's in number ninth place on my top best uh, comic book covers of all time uh, would have to be the Flash issue 207 and of course it's a Michael Turner cover a beautiful cover at this point in his time um, sadly he didn't have long left with us and he did an awful lot of covers at that time for uh, the big companies especially DC he really went to town doing a lot of stuff like Infinite uh, Crisis and stuff like that um, Final Crisis sorry Identity Crisis all those types that he was doing covers for that as well at the time but just a truly stunning cover artist especially um, yeah uh, and, it's, and a stunning cover Okay, so the next one then uh, on the list is another Flash book, and it's Flash issue 105. Um, now again, you could say it's borderline iconic, this one. Um, it's it's an awesome cover. I love the contrast in the colours, the yellows against the reds. It's just awesome. Uh, Mirror Master there as well, first appearance. Just a stunning cover, uh, and it's so striking. To actually have it, though, in your hands, uh, y y then you really appreciate just how striking the, the colour differences are, the contrast between the colours, and it's just a stunning book to actually hold in your hands okay okay so in at number seven we have a classic batman cover it's batman issue 251 that's right it's the classic adams cover um stunning to look at on the outside really beautiful again contrasting colors uh beautiful uh lines as well to the pencils work uh but also on the inside if you haven't got it get it uh because on the inside there's uh, i think it's a really nice double page spread a batman kind of leaping around jumping around uh and it's just stunning uh so please Please do make sure they get that. I might do an under the covers of that one, but yeah, that deserves to be on this list. Okay, so number six then on the list is a classic, and I'm going to murder his name now, John Basima, um cover, and it's Silver Surfer issue four. It's a classic, and it's been swiped only recently as well again, but it's just a classic, beautiful cover, and that's the key word on this one. It's in there because it's beautiful, uh, and it depicts Silver Surfer and uh, Thor, and it's something akin to, I don't know, the Masters, I suppose, touching uh, touching hands almost. I think it was Mikey Angel Michael Angel uh, it's just a fantastic piece of work uh, I love it all day long Okay, so in at number five, another beautiful uh, comic book cover which uh, really depicts the, the uh, and evokes the uh, 1950s Silver Age for me, early Silver Age. Yeah, it's the first appearance of Super, uh, Supergirl uh, in Action Comics, and it is, of course, Action Comics 252. Just a stunningly beautiful cover again, keyword being beautiful again. Uh, really well drawn, really nicely drawn, beautiful use of colours, um, and just striking. Great first appearance cover, that. Love it. 
Okay, in at number four, and this one's from the Golden Age, and I'm glad I never got into collecting the Golden Age. Uh, I love it, but it's a very expensive uh, part of the hobby, that one. Um, it's Superman issue 14, and it's the beautiful bald eagle and American uh, flag, uh, Star Spangled Banner. It drapes in the background in the form of a shield. It's just, it's beautiful. It, it's iconic uh, to me, and it's also... Um, it's bold and it sums up to me uh, some of the key aspects of the American ideal and uh, imagery, uh, which is also so often commonly associated with Superman. Absolutely fantastic cover. Okay, so in at number three, and this is going to throw the cat amongst the pigeons now. It should be high. Whether it should be higher, I don't know, but it's Incredible Hulk 181. Beautiful cover, again, striking colours, herb trim cover just stunning absolutely stunning in every respect love the orange contrast against the white there as i said in uh, one of the other videos it is an iconic cover it's a cover that people associate with comics and especially with wolverine it's probably one of the most famous one of the two most famous hulk covers as well so it's it's a massive book beautiful cover uh, and, I, and i think it definitely deserves to be uh, high up on the list okay so what would beat that cover well actually i don't happen to think honestly that anything would uh, i think it's a great cover um and this is really like kind of comparing apples with oranges to some extent but if i had to put one above that that i prize more uh, and it's not just because i have these books or anything like that it genuinely i love this cover there's a reason why i got it and it's brave and the bold number 28 uh the first appearance of the justice league of america it's a stunning cover it's truly beautiful it's the definition of beauty uh, and it certainly deserves to be up there on this list uh, in at number two. Um, I have to say, in terms of the lines, in terms of how it's drawn, in terms of the use of colour, uh, the characters that they've got on there, it evokes the Silver Age for me in my mind, uh, but it's also just a really well-executed, beautiful book. Okay, now just before anybody brains me uh, or beats me to a pulp, um, please, uh, this isn't necessarily my favourite cover of all time. I'm going to do another list, which is going to be my favourite covers of all time, okay? But in terms, of, this is called the best covers, okay? If it was a favourite, that last one for me would probably be top. I don't know, or, or Hulk, or one of the others anyway. But this, I've always marvelled at just how technically, how well drawn this book is. Uh, I think it's a great kind of uh, example of what happens when perfect uh, penciling, inking, and colouring all comes together, uh, and composition and layout of the of the page. And for me, this is probably uh, one of the best, if not the best, drawn or whatever uh, technically competent covers of all time. So please don't bray me. Please don't beat me. Uh, it's just my opinion, and it could change. Like I say, if I did it on a different day, it might be a different book. I'm not saying it's more iconic than any of the others. It probably isn't, but it is a superbly well put together comic book cover, and it is, of course. X-Men 1. And this particular book uh, has the accolade of, well, it came in five different covers. This particular uh, book has the accolade of winning the Guinness World Record for the biggest number selling comic books of all time. Uh, and I think it was uh, for something like 8.1 million, uh, which were sold. Uh, now, obviously, there were five covers, so, you know, that's distributed. Uh, the D cover, which this one is, the Magneto cover, uh, actually wasn't the best selling uh, at the time. But in terms of its execution, in my opinion, it was probably the best cover out of a lot of them. Um, and it's a stunning cover. It's very representative of the time. It evokes memories and feelings of, of the 90s and what was to come. It was done in, I think, 91. Uh, and it's it's just a, it, it, when you look at it, I can look at this for hours and still find, uh, you know, notice things that I've not noticed before. Absolutely stunning cover. Now, is it is it the best comic book cover of all time? Well, I've put it in my number one spot, but it is a contentious issue and it is a provocative statement, I suppose. Uh, I, I love the Silver Age myself and generally speaking, I'm, I, I collect the Silver Age more so than I do modern or copper or anything like that. Uh, but I had to put this one in there because it doesn't get the plaudits that it deserves, I feel. And it is an excellent comic book cover. Um, okay, guys, I've not done this to give anybody an aneurysm. If you think I've lost my sanity, please do let me know in the comments section. Uh, and if you have any other suggestions, I'm more than happy to hear from them. Uh, and again, come up with 
with your own list, guys. I'm going to be doing another list very shortly, which is actually going to be, uh, again, slightly different to this one and the other one, which is my uh, top 10 favorite comic book covers okay which are my personal favorites so again there is a distinction between favorite best and iconic most iconic um and that's really i suppose the theme i guess looking at those differences those nuances anyway guys uh, i've been comic boss one you've been amazing keep collecting